Welcome back everyone. Today we're going to be going over the store and how to buy, sell, lease, repair, and look at some of the starter packs and the sales and everything like that. So first of all we're going to talk about how to buy equipment. So you can come in here, you hit the big button on your PlayStation. If you're on PlayStation, if not, you have to look at your menu on how to pull it up so you can come in here and search by brand so say you want to come down here and buy a case piece of equipment you can come in here and look at all the case equipment or say you want to buy a fent say you want to buy a fent or a fended fent whatever you want to call it come in here and search by that and now if you want to buy say you want to search for a tractor and you don't care what brand it is you can come in here and search by um, categories now about buying tractors every piece of every tractor I should say has a different horsepower down on the bottom you can see a little engine symbol and it'll say 396 horsepower that one is 462 horsepower and so on and so forth so you want to make sure whenever you're buying a piece of equipment it has enough horsepower for whatever implement you want to pull behind of it. Say we want to get a disc arrow and we want to get this guy right here. If you look down it has the same engine and it says 350 horsepower. So you want to make sure that the tractor you're using to pull this piece of equipment has enough horsepower to actually pull this piece of equipment to go the targeted speed, the working speed. For this piece of equipment the working speed is 11 miles per hour. So if you're using a tractor that only has 300 horsepower, it's only going to go probably 8 to 9 miles per hour. So it's going to it'll still work, but it's going to go a lot slower than what it would if you had the required horsepower. So you always want to make sure you have the right amount of horsepower. Now, another thing I want to talk about is you can also buy pallets of seed and um, pig food horse food, chicken food, all that type of stuff in the store and salt, solid fertilizer, lime, all that type of stuff you can get it by bags, by pallets and you, this is where you get your sugar cane and your popular and your trees concrete pallet and bond silage as well in here then you have some bales in here that you can buy another thing that you can do there's always sales so as you can see it says 46% off 64% off 75% off so all of these pieces of equipment right now are on sale so you want to check this out it says how long how many hours they have and how long how old they are so for instance this has 43 hours and it's 35 months old this one only has 3.6 hours on it now whenever buying these you're gonna need to do more repairs on them and they're not gonna be like a brand new piece of equipment it's basically buying a used equipment it's like buying a used car it's not gonna be as good as a brand new car but it's still gonna get the job done and save a lot of money so I definitely recommend checking out the sales now they're going to need more repairs more often than a new piece of equipment, but it's still, I believe, it's going to be worth it. Now here is where you can find your owned equipment at. So if you own a large tractor, we have a bunch of these out. You come in here, this is how you sell off your equipment if you wanted to. You come in here and sell it off. Or you can bring it up to this little um, wrench at the workshop. And I love this. You can tab in between your equipment. So as you can see, it says triangle to repair. Right now the vehicle is in good condition, so it doesn't need repaired. But you can also click repaint, and that will repaint the vehicle and give it all like the little paint chippings and everything like that. Right now we don't have that because it's a brand new tractor. But if the tractor is older or used, it'll probably need repainted if you want it to look good now you can also come in here and customize your vehicles you can change the tires 
change the license plate as well you can put anything you want on this I don't know why it's not showing up but I'm not really worried about it that's where you do the license plate so also whenever buying equipment I saw this earlier so let's go let's just go to the harvesters for instance and if you click R3 the right stake it'll show the headers that are compatible with this harvester so for this these are all the headers compatible with the header trailer let's just go over here to like this guy you can use any of these headers with this guy so that's pretty cool so if you're wanting to know like what um what header to use for my forage harvester for say you can use any of these it's really cool i really like that feature let's see is there anything in here for this nothing's compatible say all oh, for beats let's say you don't know what header to buy there you go so that's a really cool feature that they added in same thing for like telehandlers you can come in here see you can buy all of these um, attachers for them really cool I really like that they added that in um, let's see what else is there there is leased item so if you lease an item let me show you guys how to do that come in here we'll just go to all of technology we'll click on customize it this is also where you can customize the tires before purchasing and upgrade the engine if it's available and you can hit square if you don't have the hundred and eighty thousand dollars you can hit square and lease the piece of equipment for nine thousand and then you just have to return it and it'll charge you every day and every hour that you're running it so it's a lot cheaper than buying it if you don't have the money to and then yeah let's just go ahead and lease this I'll show you guys where the equipment spawns out at so when you buy a piece of equipment all of your equipment will jump out over here that's where it'll pop up whenever you buy it and then what else do we have to talk about we already went over the selling so if you actually bring your piece of equipment here to the sell point you'll get more money for it so make sure you bring it to the uh, workshop or anything like that to sell because you'll get a lot more money for your piece of equipment that you're trying to sell so now that we lease the olive technology it'll pop up in here right there now we need to talk about the packs so we have a grain pack this is for doing like grain crops such as wheat barley oak canola soy sorghum it'll give you a tractor a recommended tractor a recommended harvester a header for that harvester you will need a cultivator a cedar a weight and seeds to do um, crops so this is kind of just like an idea for people who never played the game before just kind of like hey what do I need to get started on this so this is what you're going to need you're not necessarily going to need all of this because some of the cedars are direct drills so you're not always going to need a cultivator and you're not always going to need a weight obviously but it's just kind of to get an idea now you don't have to use this tractor you can use any tractor or any harvester again it's just for an example same thing with grapes here's a little pack to grapes we got the pruner the uh, fertilizer spreader or sprayer i mean the trailer for the grapes the harvester and a orchard tractor now you don't need to use this tractor you can use other orchard tractors but this harvester is the only harvester as of right now that will do grapes and then you do need everything else in here and then same for olives you want to make sure you buy the olive harvester if you're doing olives and not the grape harvester they look exactly the same but this is what you're going to need for olives and then same thing like for potatoes you got a tractor um, a planter for potatoes a harvester for potatoes a cultivator another weight and seeds so all these packs are kind of just the basic 
very very basic equipment for doing what you want to do well, here's for chaff if you want to do a corn silage and then for grass work you'll need a mower and a loading wagon and a tractor obviously to make hay you'll need a tractor a tether windrower and a baler and a bale pickup now you obviously don't need the bale pickup you can just pick these bales up by hand or with a front end loader but it's just just kind of to get a rough idea here's what you need to make um, cow food so here's everything now you don't really necessarily need all this you if you have your own bales you wouldn't need to buy these but again it's just for an example here's everything for animals now you don't necessarily need a semi truck to do animals it's just because they're recommending this trailer there's plenty other an uh, animal trailers that you can use but again it's just for an example and then for logging here's some things uh, for wood chipping they got a chipper now obviously you wouldn't need this to do logs you could buy a chainsaw and cut them down but I guess they want you to spend a lot of money here's for poplar everything for poplar you'll need a baler to bail up the wood chips after you cut the poplar and then here's for cotton got a planter a bale loader the cotton harvester and a tractor for the winter you're going to need a tractor a plow and a salt spreader for transport therefore um, transporting pallets and stuff like that you'll need a trailer a forklift or a pallet fork and a front end loader or a skid steer anything like that will work and for sugar cane you're going to need a tractor a planter a harvester a trailer and a sugar cane pallet to plant it so now you don't have to use these exact um the exact tractors or piece of equipment in here it's just kind of an example for the starters that's why it's called a um oh it's not called a, i thought it was called a starter pack but it's just called a pack but anyway that's kind of everything that's in the store they also have if you hit square it'll go into build mode and this is how you build um different sheds and everything like that but that'll be for a whole different video I'm still trying to get used to that but that's how you get to it if you were wondering you just come in here to the store and hit square and you're into the build mode i know it took me a while to figure that out but if you learned anything from this video make sure you go ahead and leave a like if i missed anything be sure to comment down below and i think that's where we're going to end for it right now so see you guys on the next one be sure to hit the subscribe button and take a look at the video and playlist up on the screen this has been cns farms thanks for coming and watching